Welcome to Mortal TV. Today we're going to talk a lot about the Factory Emergency Exit Key in Escape from Tarkov. Now this is a very useful key, it's a very small one by one just like all the others. It's lightweight, 0.01 kilograms, there's no reason for you not to carry this if you're going customs or factory. It can also be used on interchange and shoreline for some reason, but they're not that useful. You could find them in jackets, you can find them in filing cabinets, they're also known as drawers, but everyone calls them file cabinets. And then also here in three-story dorms, the first floor by the guards, there's a broken TV and it could spawn just on the left side of the table. And then again here in Warehouse 7, this is also on customs. This is a this is the truck where you can find computer parts. People look for flash drives here. If you go through this door and you keep on going down on the left, there are these lockers. And on the second level of the locker, it can spawn in a factory key. I haven't gotten it here yet, but I've seen people get it. It's still there. And then I personally got it here as well on this couch next to the dead scav right there. Another spot I could spawn is over here at Old Gas Station. That's Fortress, and that's the warehouse we were just at, Warehouse 7, down the train tracks, and here is the Giving Tree, that's what people call it. And down here, anything in the game can spawn, so literally anything. Don't depend on it spawning there, but it can. And again here, I'm going to start showing you where the key lock locations are. On Customs, right here next to New Gas and Warehouse 4, there's this place we call Shortcut. It's pretty nice. It uses two key uses because if you go through the first door, there's another door. You're going to go ahead and go up to it, unlock it, and you're through. Got a nice little shortcut instead of having to run all the way down the map. Pretty nice. Now over here in Factory, there's going to be four lock locations. Here's one. There's the three-story office buildings over there, and then just down there, that's the medical tent. You just walk on down through here, through this door. You're able to unlock this, and this is one of the extracts for Factory. You just go ahead and walk on through, you'll see this is the Gate Zero Extract. Now again, here by Medical Tent, office buildings over there, that three-story. This is just what the area looks like. Pretty small map, so it's not too hard to understand where these are at. This is the Medical Tent, if you go through it, there's another door, go through that. You'll be able to unlock this door to another extract. Go ahead and unlock it. And you'll walk on through just at the end to see the extract. It's the medical tent extract, and then again, here's another extract. It's the area around it. Go through this door here. These are some spawns that you could potentially spawn at. If you go down the stairs right here, straight to the right, there's the hallway. If you go to the right, there's a door. You can go ahead and lock that. And that's another extract for factory. Seller's extract. Now all three of those keys are used for a quest for scout from mechanic. If you go to those, you complete the quest. You don't have to extract from it. And another key is lock locations up here on three-story office building. And there's some loose loot in here, and a jacket, some nifty little stuff. You don't really see players in here too much. But it's a spot. And now here on Shoreline, for some odd reason, you're able to unlock this truck. What's the use? I don't know, but you're able to unlock it. Here you go. I'm just showing you what you can do with the key. It's kind of pointless. I don't know why you need it. Can't unlock the other side, just the one spot. And then here on Interchange, any of the fuel tanker trucks, you're able to unlock the driver side door, not the passenger side. Again, I, I don't know why. I, if you just want to have all the keys, I guess you can, but there you go. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't see the point of this one. Now, some other things with this key for mechanic the scout quest, like I talked about, you can get it as a reward for completing it, but you kind of need the key to do it. So if you have a friend, you can do the quest with him, have one person have a key, but you would get him as a reward. And again, for proper bad rep evidence, it's an optional, so you, you don't need to do it. But if you go in there, you'll complete the objective. That's the third story office building and factory that we unlocked. And another thing that you can do with this key is at Jaeger, when you have my level 2 for a barter, you can trade in your key you used up all the way down to just one more use left. You save it. Then you get four Zerkas and an MRE, you can trade it to Jaeger, and it replenishes it brand new. So instead of having to buy a whole new one, 
don't really know if this is worth it, because that seems like it's breaking even. Unless you just have it, you can do it, I don't know. But that's an idea for you, you can do it if you want. And that's going to be it for our guide for the factory emergency exit key. Got any experiences or tips about this key, go ahead and share them down in the comments below. It's helpful for anybody that sees this video. And for more Tarkov key guides, stay tuned to Moral TV because I'm going to be pumping out a lot of them. I plan on doing all the keys, so if you ever just happen to look it up, there's my channel. Go ahead and click on it. If you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video if you found it helpful. If you didn't, I dislike. Maybe I forgot something. Go ahead and dislike it so that I know to make an updated video or pin something in the comments for you to know. But anyways, that's all. Have fun in Tarkov, man.